We're going to show you how flexible specification selection works. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to create a manual inspection lot by following the menu path logistics, quality management, quality inspection, inspection lot, and inspection lot processing QA01 create. So we're going to put in a material that we already have set up with flexible specification selection turned on. Um, in config we have the flex set up so it will only recognize inspection lots created with this origin 89 which is the miscellaneous inspection lot origin and also if we hit enter here it will only recognize 89 and a Z2 so this way flex is not available for every single inspection lot that we create manually it'll be limited to manual lots or yeah manual lots um, with Z2 inspection type and 89 as the origin so we'll put in a quantity here, enter a vendor and purchasing org, hit enter. And this is where Flex comes into play. You see we can select copy all if we want all of the characteristics on the inspection lot. But since companies use this to retest products, maybe that are coming up to their expiration date and they just want to test them again to make sure that they're still good uh, they'll select just a couple of characteristics so while we're in here another cool thing you can do with flex is change certain criteria of the characteristics you want to work with so you can change the upper and the lower spec uh, the upper and lower tolerance limits here and you can also change the sampling procedure we'll just select one at random and there are other fields over here we can change some of them because the master characteristic is set up in a certain way we can't change but as you can see there are a lot of other fields that we can change while in here with uh, flex so we'll select the two characteristics that we want to work with and when we're done we'll hit this green check mark since we only want those two and not copy all so we'll go ahead select those two and once we hit save we'll get this message saying our inspection lot was created then we'll go up to the results button hit the enter button and we can see here that the characteristics we selected with flex are the only two that show up and we have the changed upper and lower specification limits so we can enter a value here and we also changed this short text so that's changed if you also notice this inspect 3 has been changed because of the sampling procedure that we chose and we'll just enter a code from here and we'll select all close the characteristics and the status should be 5 and that's how flex specification selection works